up you guys, it's Scott from Fly Rides. I am in the shop today and then I'm going to be out on the trails because we are checking out which motor is the best motor for pushing fast 20 miles per hour. There is always a lot of concern about getting limited. You got to talk a lot of talk about the Bosch wall, stuff like that. People are concerned they're not going to be able to push past 20 miles per hour. You don't want to delimit your bike because that's going to shorten the lifespan of the motor and also potentially void your warranty. So why not just get a motor that's going to be easy to get past 20 miles per hour in the first place? That's what we're going to look into today. I'm going to take you out to the Hollywood Reservoir and we're going to check out which motor is going to be the best. We've got the Shimano Steps E8000 motor, the Bros S, the Bosch Performance CX, and then the Yamaha PWX. Uh, those are the four main motors that we work with and we tend to find those are the industry leaders right now. So let's go check them out. We'll break it down a little bit more out on the trails. Okay guys, so what we have the bike set up to do right now, the tire pressure is to the max tire pressure that we can possibly get it at. The suspension is gonna be locked out on each bike and it is totally pumped up to the max PSI. We also are gonna be using turbo or boost, the highest mode only, um, and all the bikes are gonna be about the same size and weight as much as we possibly can. So the way we're measuring the amount of power and effort I'm having to put in to push past 20 miles per hour is by my heart rate. That's being measured by my Coros Pace GPS watch. Um, we're also going to use that to measure the miles per hour. So we don't know how reliable these speedometers are going to be on these bike, uh, bikes, so we're going to be using this watch to make sure that they're all being honest with us. We're going to be on a 200 meter course. I have 200 meters to get these bikes up to 20 miles per hour and then beyond it to see which motor has the best capability for pushing past 20 miles per hour. Let's check it out. So one thing we wanted to point out before we start the test is that even though uh, motors are going to be the same from bikes to bikes, so Bosch is obviously going to be on a ton of different manufacturers, each manufacturer does have the opportunity to change little things. So a company like Bosch is going to be similar to Apple, where you have a very limited amount of optimization you can do if you're a bike manufacturer, whereas Bros gives you a lot more room to play. So that's why the Specialized, they call it their trail tune motor, is a little bit more beefy than your traditional Bros S. So keep that in mind, not all Bros S's are created equally, not all Bosch Performance CX's are necessarily created equally. This is just a general look at how these bikes are going to perform over 20 miles per hour. Let's do it. All right, guys, so we're starting off with the Cube Stereo Hybrid 140 SL, the Bosch Performance CX. Ready, set, here we go. Up to 20 right now. 22.7, 25, 25.5, 25 seconds. All right, got that guy up to 26.2, still a little bit out of breath. We'll check the average speed in a little bit and put it down below. Heart rate got up to about 162 and it took 25 seconds. That's 200 meters in 25 seconds. Let's check the next bike. All right guys, I gave myself a little bit of time to recover there. Next up we got the Specialized Turbo Comp, Turbo Levo Comp. Uh, so yeah, Bros is pretty traditionally the one that people say you can push past 20 miles per hour the easiest on. So let's find out. We got the watch reset. We're starting in 10. That's 20 right there. We're up to 22, 23.7, 24. Ah. Oh my gosh. 24.7 heart rate. Heart rate's at about 158. Okay, so 
pretty interesting results there. Heart rate was up at 158, so not quite as high, but pretty much in the same range. Then, believe it or not, I only got a 24.7 miles per hour on this one. Okay guys, third up. Again, try to give myself some time to recover there because I'm wearing down a little bit. But we've got the PWX Yamaha motor on the High Bike X Duro All Mountain 2.0. And we're gonna go ahead in at the number five. On my mark, get set, and go. But we're already up to 15. Here we go. And I'm feeling, yeah, this is really tough. 22 I got, yeah, 23, there's 23. 24 just now, 24. All right, right back up at 160. So, about the same. Just got up to 24 at the very end. That was the earliest I could get up there. Very difficult at the beginning. And then pushing past was a little more difficult too. So a little more resistance from the, the PWX motor. Very powerful though when the motor is on, but only up to 24 on this guy. Let's check out the last bike. All right guys, last bike. Um, and that one didn't feel, seem to take like too, too much out of me. So I'm feeling good on this one. We've got the Focus Jam squared. Got a little bit of uh, added weight here just to even things out because it is a lighter weight bike. We're starting in eight seconds, guys. Let's do it. Go. Twenty four, twenty three again, twenty four point one. Heart rate's back up at one fifty six. Twenty four point one was the fastest we got this up. Heart rate at the end was one fifty six. Um, to be totally honest, guys, we got to try this Bosch one again because we both, my cameraman Ike and I cannot believe it crushed the other one. So uh, we're going to give it another shot here uh, at the very end to see if it benefited from me being a little bit uh, less tired. Let's check it out. Very interesting. Yeah. Okay, guys, so as promised, we're going to try this one again. Uh, again, but this is uh, kind of shocking so far. We'll see if I'm still shocked at the end or if uh, maybe I was just tired. Uh, let's figure it out. I'm starting in five. On my arc, ready, go. Twenty-three. 23.7 by my watch that time. And it's still read 26.6 up here. So I think there might be a little bit of a discrepancy between legit and uh, what Bosch is offering. Not sure if it's on this particular system. Um, but to be totally honest, I'm surprised that the disparity between all of these bikes wasn't better. So just to be clear, that takes this bike from the top pole position down to the bottom. But they're all within a mile per hour of each other. So do I believe in the Bosch wall? They're e-bikes. You're getting a ton of power. It's up to 20 miles per hour. And then you're getting cut off from that power. So it's always going to feel a little jarring, I think. My, I guess, suggestion would be realizing that most of the time when you're climbing up these hills you're not hitting 20 miles per hour that often if you're using these for commuting that's for the wrong purpose when you're going downhill you're going to be able to blow past 20 miles per hour anyway if you're a solid rider thanks for watching you guys you can check us out 
uh, online at flyridesusa.com or either of our, uh, our store websites. Subscribe to this channel, like this video, share this video. Uh, hate this video if you think the Bosch wall totally exists and you want to be like, hey man, this is why it does and also bros rules. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are because I want to hear your experiences on it. But in my experience today, I would say they're all pretty equal, but bros is slightly superior it seems like. We'll follow, I will see you guys next time. Thanks.